Welcome to my weekly roundup. The week's been dominated by many of you writing in with individual difficult cases about how the government's support packages aren't reaching you. Can I thank you all for feeding in the experiences that you're facing, which are genuinely shaping how government is reacting to fill those gaps. I make sure I feed those in directly to ministers and the front bench teams. So keep sending that information in and bear with us as we try and respond to your particular case. The Public Accounts Committee had a meeting this week to discuss how we're going to look at this huge taxpayer expenditure over the coming weeks and months. Already councillors, for example, are having to spend money that they don't have in order to support people. And we need to make sure that they are supported in the medium to long term. And it's important, I think, that Parliament is back and sitting. So I welcome the news from the Speaker of the House that he's determined that Parliament will be able to meet virtually when we are due to come back, if not sooner. And I also want to thank the frontline staff who are out there risking their lives every day to make sure that things continue. The people who collect our refuse, those who are working in retail, making sure our food is available. The delivery drivers, those social Mm -hmm. care workers, and of course, all those frontline health workers. It really is important that you stay home, protect the NHS and save lives.